Hello everybody, my name is Damiana Aparicio and this talk is about to introduce an optimizing protocol transformation for constructor finite variant theories in modern PA. Modern PA is an analysis tool that can be used to reason about a wide range of cryptographic properties, but sometimes these properties of cryptographic protocols have been beyond modern PA capabilities. For example, the properties cannot be expressed using its equational unification features or for the size of the state space. In this talk, we present an optimized protocol transformation that can fix these problems, allowing us to simplify the protocol specification of the property we want to verify and make it impossible to analyze the protocol because of the state space has been reduced. This protocol transformation is on theories that satisfies the constructor finite variant property. However, we will show you a group of interesting cryptographic protocols that satisfy these properties. I'm going to follow this online. First, we introduce some motivation about the problem of analyzing some cryptographic properties. The second, we present a transformation that approaches this problem by reducing the complexity of analyzing these properties. The third, we show a set of protocols where the transformation can be applied and how they behave in practice. In fourth point, a tool specialized in protocol verification, how manas the intruder capability and how the communication model works. In point fifth, we provide the experimentation results. And finally, we expose the conclusions of this work. What is this talk about? Some cryptographic properties cannot be expressed using the current methods, but some protocols can be modified to alleviate the use of cryptographic properties. Such protocol transformations can substantially reduce the time and search space. Our contributions are We provide a protocol transformation relying on the concept of a constructor decomposition. It is based on a program transformation of Jose Meseguer in JLAM 20. Many protocols do not satisfy the condition of this paper, and we provide a more powerful protocol transformation. We consider several incredibly complex case of studies Diffie Hellman, STR, Jobs, Stack group protocols. We provide an encoding of bilinear pairing that can handle all these protocols. I'm going to explain the transformation step by step using the Diffie Hellman protocol as an example. Diffie Hellman is a very famous protocol and its cryptographic property is the exponentiation. In modern PA, we can use order shorter theories to describe data in a correct way. In this Diffie Hellman example, the first argument of the exponentiation can be a generator gen and exponentiation x. This is obtained by introducing the subsort relation gen less than s. Here, the exponentiation is encoded by in the last equation, and where the asterisk operator must be defined as associative and commutative. In the second step for the transformation is to apply a new encoding with constructor symbols. Here we duplicate the operator S. The blue is the constructor and the green one is like before, a defined symbol. What we remark in this kind of protocol is that the every expression of the form x, where the first argument x can be a generator or another expression, after applying the algebraic properties, in this case the exponentiation, is transformed into a very specified expression. We describe these kinds of expressions as constructor expressions, and we separate them from the rest of the expression in the specification. Our transformation takes the original protocol and the property we, can, we want to analyze and obtains a new protocol where every expression 
of the form x can only be a constructor expression. In that way, the algebraic property is never applied and can be removed from the specification. Probably already incorporate this distinction between what they call destructor and constructor symbols time ago. This transformation is not only useful for modern PA. Other verification tools can take advantage from it. In the last step, we saw the transformation works using the strands notation. On the top part, we have two participants, Alice and Bob. Therefore, we have two strands. Send messages are defined with the plus symbol and received messages by the minus symbol. The communication starts with Alice sending the exponentiation g with the nonce of a to the channel. Bob is supposed that receives this exponentiation and he will send her exponentiation g with the nonce of b also to the channel. With all the exponentiations sent, Alice and Bob can obtain the same key by applying the algebraic property defined in the previous slides. Our transformation takes every non-constructor expression and transforms into a constructor one without modifying the intended behavior. This protocol transformation is so incomplete. That is, if we can find an attack on the transform version, the attack also exists in the original one, and if we can verify the transform protocol that the attack is not possible, then the original version of the protocol is also safe. The point three is to speak the modern PA tool and the Lavia model. Modern PA is a tool to find or prove the absence of attacks on cryptographic protocols using backward shards. Has the ability to analyze infinite state systems. Modern PA use an active intruder, no abstraction or approximation of nonce, and a bounded number of sessions. Modern PA is designed to support as wide a class of equational theories as possible like Diffie-Hellman exponentiation, the exclusive or an approximation of homomorphic encryption, and now bilinear pairing. Modern PA makes use of unification modulo equational theories and narrowing to support backward search. The intruder and communication model of Modern PA. Modern PA has a term algebra constructed from a signature of faction symbols and variables. Its role in the protocol describes how a running principal sends and receives messages from that role. Give a set of inference rules describing the deduction an intruder can make. One example is if the intruder knows the key in the faction A with the argument key and message can deduce this message. In modern PA has an active intruder. That means all messages go through intruder, giving her the ability to stop and redirect the message, manipulate the, these messages, and create messages from already sent messages using inference rule. The second protocol is the STR protocol, the skinny three, an extension of the Diffie-Hellman protocol for three-party group key agreement. The difference between the skinny tree and the Diffie-Hellman is that the former can have an exponentiation as exponent where the later cannot. In the Alice Bob notation, we have three participants exchanging messages. And in the transformed version, the participants use only the key KABC. Next, the jokes protocol. It's a three participant with an ideal broadcast information, relies on bilinear pairing. Here, the faction E with the arguments P and Q is equal to the faction E with the argument Q and P. We use an encoding of bilinear pairing similar to the Smith, Sasse, Kramer, and Basin. 
from ASP14. On the Terraformed version, use only the key KABC. The last protocol is a two-party authenticate key group protocol. It is an improvement of the before protocol jobs. They only require one run of the communication. The four version of the tag share the same exchange message, but the computation key is different for each version. The bilinear pairing of the Smith, Sasse, Kremer, Basin in SPA14 is not valid because one version of the tags needs a new encoding of bilinear pairing with an additive symbol. In the next slide, I'm going to explain the difference between the keys from all versions of the tag protocol. In the tag 1, the key is a hash function with two bilinear pairing two arguments. The second version, the key, is a three bilinear pairing concatenate with a dot symbol. The tag 3 is similar to the tag 2, but with exchanges the exponent. The last tag has the most complex key that need to manage an extra additive symbol. We evaluate all the protocols before as well as after the transformation. The protocols DP Hellman, Skinny3, and Jokes, we consider two general attacks patterns, the authentication and the secrecy. For all versions of the attack, we consider one attack, the secrecy. In this table, the most notable improvement is the sticky 3 secrecy, halving the number of the states, and the secrecy of the transformer version of the jokes is three times faster than the normal. For the conclusions, in this talk, we have seen a protocol transformation technique getting us an optimized protocol and allowing us to safely get rid of cryptographic properties that satisfy some security goals, reduce sometimes drastically the state space, and we have shown interesting protocols where the transformation can be successfully applied. This transformation performs very well in practice, obtaining a speed up of 2.54 and reducing the state space with an overage of 30%. Furthermore, for the first time, we encode the theory of bilinear pairing in the modern PA tool, which goes beyond existing definition in the liberty. Thank you for your time and hope you enjoyed this presentation.